I'm T.R. Ramesh. I'm a senior director of engineering at uh, Toshiba Memory America in the data center SSD division. Uh, my responsibility is silicon development of storage controllers for data center applications. I'm Ravi Tangirala. I'm the director for validation engineering at Toshiba Memory America. I manage validation platforms across the board at the company. The new project that we are working on is uh, in the data center uh, application. We are generating a new SSD controller using the PCI Gen 4 standard. One of the challenges we have in this project is that the time to market is very aggressive and the firmware teams have to have their software ready before the silicon arrives. And to be able to do this, we need fast platforms that can help uh, give a system level validation ability to all our teams across the board. Typical SSD controller development cycles are long and Cadence helped us by providing Palladium and Protein platforms. This enabled us to validate silicon at a system level and also develop our product firmware on these platforms well ahead of silicon tape out. Palladium and Proteum played a key role in this project. We had a challenge where we needed a fast and debuggable platform for both the firmware engineers and the RTL engineers to work together, where the firmware engineers could work at a system level to develop the product firmware and when issues are hit, the RTL designers can step in and use the debug information from the Palladium platform to help solve the problem. Proteum takes it another step forward by giving a high-performance solution for the firmware engineers to use a stable platform and develop their product firmware. The main benefit of using Palladium and Proteum platforms in a development cycle is you get an opportunity to identify system bugs and fix them well before tape out. Second benefit, which I think is probably a lot more important, is getting our actual product firmware developed ahead of silicon and verifying it on these platforms flush a lot of system issues and bugs that we would normally find after silicon. Palladium provided uh, RTL developers opportunity to debug their issues much faster than they would do in simulation. Proteum also added the additional ability to, for the firmware team to develop the firmware much faster than they could with other platforms. So some of the lessons learned is one, work on your performance improvement early on and think about how your design can be mapped to these platforms ahead of time. So Palladium and Proteum emulation uh, strategy is going to be a critical one for all future developments. Thank you.